Hello, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we dive deep into the captivating world of the Witcher series, specifically focusing on a unique and intriguing group, the Rats. With their enigmatic presence and significant impact on the story, it's time to shed light on each of the six members that compose this fascinating faction. Join us as we uncover the backgrounds, motivations, and connections of each rat. From their charismatic leader to the skilled infiltrators, we leave no stone unturned in bringing you a comprehensive understanding of these characters and their roles within the narrative. The six-person group known as the Rats, which will play a significant role in Ciri's journey, was first featured in The Witcher Season 3. The addition of the Rats, which Ciri joins after escaping the frying pan also known as the Korath Desert, makes The Witcher Season 3 significantly more faithful to the original material than the first two seasons. Ciri's tale in The Witcher Season 4 seems to be planned to start with the Rats, roughly where she left off in the Season 3 book adaptation of The Witcher, The Time of Contempt. One of Ciri's worst chapters in the Witcher series is her time with the rats. Ciri's journey is not an easy one. Before they encounter Ciri at the conclusion of the Witcher season 3, the rats are a dysfunctional, violent collection of individuals who have all experienced great loss and sorrow. Even though they typically kill people who have wronged them in some way, they are especially violent and even occasionally kill for enjoyment. But it helps to know who the rats are and where they came from before Ciri starts this part of her adventure. Geisler, the leader of the rats and a deserter from an unidentified army, appears in the Witcher book series. Geisler joins a neighborhood group resembling the rats after quitting the army. Geisler and his unidentified group unwittingly enter free elf land and become the target of elven arrows. Geisler is the solitary survivor, but one of the elves' arrows during the assault pins him to a tree. He is set free the following morning by Iskra, a female elf who later joins Geisler as one of the rats. After some time, Geisler and Iskra also fall in love. Geisler is the unofficial head of the rats thanks to his charm and cunning, and it's possible that he played a key role in the organization of the gang. Additionally, he is a violent warrior who poses a threat. Sadly, Geisler is likewise conceited and overconfident, which causes him and the other rats to fail. Leo Bonhart, a vicious bounty hunter, murders the rats with little trouble, leading to Gisler's demise. The story of The Witcher Season 4 will probably include this. Missile is a different member of the rats, and like the others, her tale is tragic. Missal is descended from an affluent aristocratic family from the town of Thern in the Meat Kingdom, which is ruled by the Nilfgaardians. During an uprising, she is ejected from her house and is later abducted by some bandits. The thieves kidnap a large number of women and repeatedly assault them sexually before throwing their bodies in a ditch by the side of the road. The lone survivor is Missal, who is finally discovered by Asse, another rat. Missal's struggles have shaped her into a tough person. She forms a physical bond with Ciri in the Witcher novels, who is deeply traumatized by her recent events and struggles to emotionally connect with Missal. Ciri tells Missal she loves her as she departs the rats, pledging to return with a six-horse carriage and a retinue of servants after learning of Amur's plans to wed the fake Ciri. Sadly, Leo Bonhart also murders Missal before Ciri can go back and attempt to save them. But Missal plays a significant role in Ciri's upcoming transformation in The Witcher Season 4. One of the rats with the most nefarious intentions is Kaylee. After escaping the Korath Desert, Kaylee is the one who is bound to Ciri in Netflix's Witcher adaptation. Kaylee is from Ebbing, where he was the Castellan's adopted son. A Mervarim raised dispatch the Nilfgaardian army to quell discontent caused by an uprising in Ebbing by using fire and sword. When Kaylee woke up, his adoptive parents were dead, and the walls of the castle were on fire all around him. Kaylee was still residing in the castle at the time. After narrowly fleeing the fire, Kaylee encounters Reef, a soldier who is severely hurt. Due to his injuries, Reef, a soldier in the Nilfgaardian army, was left behind. Instead of killing the wounded adversary, Kaylee tends to Reef's wounds and assists him in escaping the location. Together, Kaylee and Reef leave Ebbing and travel to Jiso, where they join the other rats to start their infamous group. Prior to being left behind during the Siege of Ebbing, Reef was a soldier in the Imperial Army. Although his birthplace is unknown, he is recognized for having a distinctive accent. Because Nilfgaardians are frequently noted for having distinctive accents in comparison to residents of the Northern Realms, it is most likely that he is from somewhere in the center of the Nilfgaardian Empire. Reef is renowned for having a problem with the substance Fistek in the setting of the Witcher. After being severely hurt and left behind during the Siege of Ebbing, he encounters Kaylee. Reef and Kaylee steal from passing motorists as they make their way away from Ebbing. Reef and Kaylee prefer to target only wealthy men for robbery, and they enjoy prowling the countryside with the proceeds of their thefts. Reef's tail is identical to those of the other rats, which probably explains why they connected so quickly when they all first met in Jiso. Before joining the rats, Ase was the son of a blacksmith in Thern. The pacifiers arrived to use all available means to put an end to the uprising when it started in the region. Ase observed from his hiding position behind some plants as his family was slain. He started to pursue the troops when they left, determined to exact revenge on his family. 
he chose to save Missile's life after finding her laying in a ditch, nearly dead. Following that, a Saiyan missile traveled to Jiso to meet the remaining rats. Hiskra is an elf who was expelled from the realm of the free elves for an unspecified reason. She probably would have perished if she hadn't stumbled upon Geisler, who is nailed to a tree by an arrow, and they work together to survive. Hiskra, like the majority of the rats, enjoys using violence, and she perishes like the others when they go up against Leo Bonhart in jealousy. Hiskra is famous for her early hostility towards Ciri, which lessens as Ciri turns violent and takes part in the rats' massacres, revealing Hiskra's true nature in The Witcher. Thank you for watching.